Lisa Fernandez with that spotless 28-0 record facing Amy Shelavol, who scored the winning run against Kansas in the 17th inning. And Shelavol's aboard. An excellent start for the Cats. Haggard with a 342 average. One of the great hitters for Arizona. Lays that bunt down, in a way down to get it. Throws her out, and the sacrifice works. And Shelavold's in scoring position. Cats trying to... In her freshman year, hit 358. You won't see very many faster than her in collegiate softball. She's got 67 hits, 66 which are singles, and basically she just looks to put the ball in the infield. As you see Arizona's infield coming in, and then race to first base. Tough play for Espinosa. Not in time. The speed of Kathy Evans. A second team All-American, and she gets down the line in a hurry. What an impressive feat by Kathy Evans. She dared Laura Espinosa to try and throw her out. Espinosa and the whole Wildcat infield was in. They expected it. Here we see the slap bunt to the furthest infielder, that being Laura Espinosa. No, you cannot have any wasted motion, and still Evans beats Espinosa's throw by about a half a step. Casey Redondo, the left fielder, excellent speed. To watch it, she has a swinging bunt with the left hand, and she sticks the bat out there with just the left hand. She can bunt it with one arm. Well, she's a switch hitter. There it is, and it's foul. A switch hitter who will do a lot of the chopping and the bunting from the light uh, from the left side. And Larry Ray, who is the assistant coach at Arizona, teaches this chopping. Start back in the box, one, two, step, and then lay the bat down. But the bat was on an angle didn't put the ball in between the lines. Fernando actually has more power from the right side, but more of a valuable commodity from the left side because of the speed. She's in a hole, one and two, facing Lisa Fernandez. And what we're seeing a lot of the Arizona Wildcat hitters do is take one or two steps as they're starting to swing, and that's to get their momentum going and get the speed going so they can run towards first base. They're just trying to put it in the infield. Obviously, you can't hit with power when your legs are moving. You can't get your hips into it as well. So they're hitting all arms, all wrists, and try and beat the throw to first. Change up. Great pitch. And Redondo is done. Four strikeouts for Lisa Fernandez. Not only was it a great pitch because it was a changeup and off speed, but it was also on the outside corner. Redundo going away from it, and that speed had a, that changeup had a little bit of curve to it. It just worked away from Redundo. As she's moving towards first, that pitch is moving. The first time for Shelavol. Maybe a freshman. Her four hits against Kansas tied a World Series record. Amy Gelbach of Long Beach State, also in the series, had a four-hit game. But is down. And another hit for Amy Shellevold. She's two for two today. Kelly Inouye, the catcher for the UCLA Bruins, had a little trouble coming out from behind the plate because she tripped over Shellevold's bat. If you'll see, Shellevold puts it down, and it's between Lisa Fernandez now and Inouye to get to that ball. Inouye gets it, but bumps into Fernandez, has to jump over the bat, and by that time, Shellevold, with her speed, gets an infield single. You have Kathy Evans up now, the speedster. Kathy Evans beat out an infield hitter first time. Swings through the first one. Good Maybe they keeping it down low in a safe spot. Good pitch selection. As you see, some of the Arizona Wildcat infielders are drawn in. Many teams have thought of bringing in another outfield to play infield when Kathy Evans is up because she is such an infield single hitter. Bruins have outscored their opponents in the World Series 29 to 1. Way high. What's interesting about the 29 runs, no team had scored more than 20 in the World Series as you look at a panoramic view of that defense. And we see the alignment. The outfield is drawn in, the infield is drawn in, and Kathy Evans puts such pressure on the infielder. She gets down the line in about 2.5 to 2.75 seconds. You've got to make that play all in under three seconds. Excellent location on the outer edge, and Evans hit a hole at one and two. 
from Covina, California, the freshman prepped at Charter Oak High School. Howard at first with two away. She's going, and she's out. Just today, Amy Shellevel. Two for two. Having a very fine World Series. In the air and out of play. Shellehold is 7 for 18. This week in the College Softball World Series. Shellehold, one of the better slappers on the team and their philosophy for Arizona, wipe out the front line of the batter's box, start back, one, two steps up. Their second step, you should make contact with that pitch and then run like crazy to first. That's hit hard, foul, and she pulled it. So for all the slapping to the left side, here she turns on the ball and turns it off the first base side. The interesting thing is your same ready stance for a slap you should be able to hit from, and, and Shelleville will prove just that. She can slap from that position or she can hit away from that position. So she's a double threat You keep the defense off balance. We've talked about all the great UCLA freshman players. Well, Shelleville's a freshman, and she was a third-team All-American. He's flat out a tough out. Always seems to get a piece of the ball. The tough part about slap running and slapping is you've got to make that decision on the pitch, maybe one or two fractions of a hundredth of a second before you would if you're just standing there. And if Lisa Fernandez continues to throw junk low, low and away, it makes that much more difficult. Maybe sister Julie, a great volleyball player at Ohio State, led Ohio State into the Final Four. Back Ohio State. Guess who they ran into into the Final Four of volleyball? UCLA. So her sister. Julie ran into the very tough Bruin volleyball team and UCLA defeated Ohio State and went on to win their second consecutive national championship. And Sister Amy trying to beat the Bruins in softball. And she has a third hit. If she keeps it on the ground, she's tough. And that was a swinging butt. She's smiling. Happy about that one. And it was a swinging bunch, so Kelly Inouye wasn't automatically coming out from behind the plate. She got a little late start on it. And because Shellevold is so quick, she beat out another infield single. Now, remember last time she got caught stealing. We'll see if she tests it away again. Inouye has gunned down three Arizona runners. This is the last year we're going to see a white ball in the College World Series. Next year, the NCAA will introduce into tournament play a yellow ball with red seams, which has a poly core for a center. Right now, this white ball has a cork center. Next year's ball will have a poly core center. It is more lively. They tested it this year. 22 home runs were hit in a tournament in San Jose. That's the last year we'll see the white ball in the College World Series. The butt is down. Miller Pruitt has to hurry and cannot get Kathy Evans. I don't even think a good throw would have gotten Evans the way she gets down the line. It's so tough. You know it's coming. You know she's just going to lay down the ball. You should almost be charging as soon as she lays it down. Miller Pruitt, it's up to her to try and get it, get Kathy Evans out. But Evans forces the defense into so many mistakes and just uses her speed. What a great asset for Sharon Beck is to have at the leadoff position.